Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a look at one of MSI's high-end Intel Z77 motherboards. This is a GD65. It features military class 3 components and of course being LGA1155 it has the support there for Intel's third generation CPUs. As you can see from behind me, really nice design. It's got the black and blue and uh, lots and lots of features. So I'm excited about showing you this. We're going to go on a quick unbox now and then I'm going to get the board out and show you it. Okay, to start things off then we'll do a quick unbox. Here's the packaging for GD65. Got the significant features on the front. Click BIOS 2, OC Genie 2. And obviously Z77 we've got PCI Express Gen 3. There's the other features at the top as well. And we'll just spin this box over. There we've got on the back various statistics in terms of 3D performance increase. And um, different features with military class 3. We're going to cover those in the full review on Vortex.net so we won't go into the details there. So opening the box up inside we've got various items within the bundle. There we've got the user manual. This obviously covers all of the details specifications on the motherboard. Next we've got the certificate for military class 3 which MSI are very proud of. This obviously just certifies that um, the, uh, the various features are exclusive to MSI, the Dr. Moss 2, High C Cap, SFC, Solid Cap, which we're going to show you a little later. We've got the quick installation guide, you know, just to get you started. The software and application on the CD, that just gives you a bit more detail. Going on to the components, we've got four cables for SATA 6G. We've got the SLI bridge for NVIDIA. We've got the, the, uh, the quick connect for, uh, for your power and your LEDs. We've got some more uh, voltage cables in there. We've also got the driver CD which has the utilities. Again that user manual which I've just shown you that works in collaboration with that. The input-output shields which you'll need on your case. And then inside, finally, we've got the, the overclocking guide. So this just gives you a bit more of a hand in terms of, you know, getting that overclock. Some people do struggle with knowing what to do. So that's a helpful little tip there. So what we'll do now is we're going to take a look at the GD65. So here we have the GD65. An MSI I've kept with that black and blue theme which we've seen on the X79s and the Z68s, but I think up until this point this is probably one of the best looking designs which MSI have brought about. It really does look great. The aesthetics and the heatsink design really do like it. GD65 is of course going to remain the top of the MSI Z77 range. That is until we see a GD85 or perhaps a Big Bang, but there's no talk of that just yet. The big thing with MSI's Z77 motherboards is of course military class 3 which was brought about in the X79 motherboards. Brings in various features, uh, the first of those is Dr. Moss 2 which I'm not going to go into any great detail on this video because it's quite hard to illustrate but I will have more details in the written review on Vortex.net. Other features include high C caps which are highly conductive capacitors. These use tantalum core and offer 8 times longer life, they've got higher thermal stability. We've also got SFCs which are super ferrite chokes. These give 30% higher current capacity so that's going to give you a better overclocking stability. We've got these dotted around the CPU socket and other areas of the motherboard too. And finally we have solid caps which give over 10 years lifespan so that's ultra long life and those are low temperature. We'll now take a closer look at the various features on GD65. Uh, starting with the CPU socket here, we've got the heatsink design which covers the MOSFETs and that's looking very nice in the blue and black. Underneath there we've got a 9 phase VRM power design in order to feed the CPU power. We've also got the 8 pin socket just behind the heatsinks. And the CPU socket is indeed LGA1155. This is going to support the third generation of Intel's CPUs. In terms of memory capacity, here we've got four DIMMs which support 
DDR3 1066 all the way up to 2667 OC which is a huge leap from the 2133 which we had on the Z68 chipset. Also here we have a maximum capacity of 32GB. In the corner we've got three buttons, we've got the power and reset and we've also got OC Genie 2. Now some of you may not know what OC Genie is, I'm just going to take a few moments to explain this to you. So with OC Genie 2 we can press that button and in a matter of seconds we can jump to an overclock. So the idea is you go into the BIOS, you find the OC Genie section, you customise your frequency, uh, your voltage that you want to set, you save that to the BIOS, you jump into Windows and with pressing that button on the motherboard you can literally jump to that overclock in a matter of seconds. So a good example is you might have a 4 GHz overclock on your system and then when you go into your game you might want a bit of more of a performance boost. So you could set in the OC Genie 4.6 and upon pressing that you can boost to 4.6 and that just gives you a bit more of a performance hit. So it's a pretty good idea, you know, it's uh, been implemented on other MSI motherboards but this is in its second revision on the GD65. Next to these buttons is the voltage checkpoint connector and this connector allows you to monitor the current system voltages. You will need a multimeter for this, so it's probably going to be for more of an advanced user. But as I said, you can check the voltages such as CPU VTT, CPU graphics. Further on, we have native USB 3.0. This is via the blue connector. And next to this, we have the SATA ports. Now we've got a mixture here of 3G and 6G. And the first lot there, the white ports, are... 6G and they're via Intel Z77 and then the other two white ports on the other side these are again 6G but this is via AS Media and the particular chip they're used is ASM 1061 and then in the middle we've got the four 3G ports and these are via Intel Z77 onto the PCI Express we've got three PCI Express 3.0 slots those are X16 and we've got their support for NVIDIA SLI AMD Crossfire. And being PCI Express 3.0, we've got their support for the new graphics cards, NVIDIA 600 series, AMD 7000 series. And additional to this, we've also got the four PCI Express X1 slots, if you've got an audio card. Finally then, onto the input-output on GD65. We've got various ports here, and I'm just going to go from left to right. Starting with PS2 keyboard mouse, two USB 2 ports, a small reset CMOS, SPDIF audio and coaxial, two USB 2 ports, HDMI, gigabit LAN, two USB 3 ports, DVI and VGA, and of course all of these video ports, the HDMI, the DVI and the VGA, allow you to switch between your discrete graphics card and your integrated on the chip and this uses Lucid Virtue MVP which is a new thing on the Z77 chipset and finally 8 channel audio so this is offering 7.1 high definition audio and this is via THX True Studio Pro so we don't have any Realtek chip on this board we've got an upgrade from that to the THX Okay, so that concludes our brief overview of the Z77 GD65. As we've seen, big features with this board are military class 3, which brings higher-end components around the motherboard, better stability, more durability, and in turn that's going to give you a longer life on the board. We've also got Click BIOS 2, which has been updated, and it's worth mentioning actually that the BIOS now supports most gaming mice, and we've seen in the past with different brands UE5 BIOS, Mouse lag can occur and you know that when you move the mouse, navigation can be laggy or jerky. This isn't a problem with Click BIOS 2. OC Genie 2 is another great feature. As I've explained previously, you just need to press that button and you know you've got a profile under there with the settings that you can customise and within seconds you can jump to that overclock. So that pretty much concludes things guys. I expect a full review of this very soon on Vortez.net. I'll drop that link in the description when it's available. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, click that subscribe button.